Hey guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, I seem to have a violet ray if I turn the, the laptop to another angle. So hopefully you don't have a, uh, a stream of light. It might make its way into the picture. But uh, let's start off the reading without it. Let's have a look at today's energy. I've got a selection of cards. Okay, let's use the Rider Waite first. It's extremely hot. So um, let's get this done. Hello, Lily. Go on, go on lay on the chair. Okay, I'm just going to pull some cards first. Oh, it's extremely hot. Okay, I'm not really channeling a story just yet. I think we'll just pull in some cards. Oh, we're having a row of major arcanas here. Um, well, there's four major arcanas in a row. Which means something that the universe has got its hands on. One more. Okay, let's have a look at the underlying energy first. We'll channel that. Somebody's surveying a situation. Um, they're observing. They're planning. They're wanting to talk. They have lots of plans that they want to talk about. It's a very chatty energy. They're feeling fresh and alive. Okay. They're getting out in nature. Oh. Okay, this might just be the heat today. The sweat on. <laughs> they've been out in nature trying to regain their balance. Um, they've been connecting by the sea. Oh, I'm so jealous. I'd love to be near the sea now. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't be jealous. I can go to the sea if I want to. Yes, you can. Sorry, just having a little chat <laughs> to myself about uh, the seaside. Okay. It feels to me as if this is where they actually so connecting with water, connecting with nature, is where they kind of find their balance. Um, it's where they can think. I always look at this card, well I don't always, sometimes I do, but it's the kind of hat that he's wearing. And it just reminds me of um, in the olden times. You know, when you maybe wasn't intelligent, you was a bit of a dunce, you'd be put into, like, the corner. <laughs> um, I don't know what you're meant to do in the corner. You're just kind of isolated, aren't you? And used as an example. So I'm not sure what that is I'm picking up on. Someone kind of saying, I'm no dunce, as if, kind of, I am intelligent. I know more than what you think. Oh, I know more than what you think. We've got the King of Swords next. So he's very intelligent. <laughs> okay. Um, we've got a wasp. Okay, so this is, I, w I wanted to say this is um, considering heartbreak that's occurred. Um, it's like the Divine Masculine. <clears throat> is seeing the air of his ways. So he can kind of recognise his own wrongdoings. Okay, then we have the Seven of Wands. And I'm feeling that this is somebody who's actually, has been defensive, okay, has kind of been blocking out the connection because then we have a major arcana which is the lovers so this is um, the universe saying that this connection it's from the heart and it needs to be kind of I want to say addressed you can see here with the feminine well actually they're both looking at each other well she's looking up the divine I think 
not sure how he's looking. He's looking a little bit blank here. Then we have the student card, the hangman. This is when you've kind of paused for reflection. Let's leave it at that, pause for reflection and divine direction. So the universe has stepped in. Um, I want to say maybe sent messages, epiphanies down from above. Oh, okay, from above. So it's definitely the Divine Masculine is here. With the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine keys. So right now they have the, the key to unlock the door. The key to the heart. That's beautiful. Nine of Cups, this is a masculine energy that's managed to kind of, um, seeing as we've got the King of Cups after, which the nine with the King, it's like ready for the Ten of Cups. Independent, emotionally balanced, mature. So I have the King of Swords with the King of Cups. Okay. Right, let's clarify. I've got the Mature Tarot. We're going to read from this one. Two of Pentacles. I have to try and remember what I've uh, already channeled. <laughs> it's waiting for your ships coming, waiting for the right time. Okay, this is where you've been gathering your information. Let's read it because I said that about connecting their water. Especially as we've got the King of Cups here. He's sitting on his throne by the water. So, um... Let's have a look at what's been going on. It's like this pondering, um, becoming balanced, connecting. I want to say all your wisdom's un unlocked as you're near water. It allows the emotions to flow. Okay, the three of wands. Let's find out where the wands are. Okay. Oh, we've had this word before and I can't say it. A noble man stands on a promontory watching his ship sail out to sea while he remains behind. He knows that success depends on being in the right place at the right time and for the present his place is here, not setting forth on adventures. His merchant sailors and explorers will undertake his quest for him for the time being. There may come a time when he sets out into the wider world himself and that thought contents him for now. Delegation in an enterprise or adventure, management rather than labour and partnership. This is the calming down, this is the delegation, not focusing so much on work, work, work. It's about giving yourself that much needed time to reflect. And um, I feel here the Divine Masculine is very content with this kind of connection. Okay, King of Swords. So I've been thinking. Understanding the truth now. And it was about his intelligence. We got two. It takes two, baby. Just me and you. You know it takes two. <laughs> That's quite funny. Because we've got the devil card, but there's the lovers. Um, and we spoke about actually blocking out the, the connection, but it looks like the connection's very much on the mind now. Maybe a little bit torturing. It takes two with the devil oh, and the queen of cups. Let's read these. Let's read this devil card. I was saying about um, the Divine Masculine understanding the kind of wrongdoings, the, the air of his ways. So 
let's look at this devil card I've just dropped the queen of cups down there she could say I don't know why she's down there but I'm leaving her but we'll come back to her in a minute okay the devil the devil assumes a pleasing shape to beguile the vulnerable to give in to her temptations she entices the weak to chase temporal goals of wealth lust domination and her crooning dulcet words assure her victims that more lofty pursuits are foolish. That will understand why the, the Queen's kind of gone, because it was the Queen of Cups who's kind of been in this um, this other femin feminine's energy. So, as in a, another connection, um, like a karmic connection. So, let me carry on reading this. Why strive for goodness and kindness in a world that, will, that rewards neither? So that's yesterday's reading, differences of opinions. The immediate pleasures are all that matter. The beauty of the devil beckons and enchants, but look closer. She wears the ram's horns that ruthlessly batter. The peacock, fan of empty pride, the bat wings of the darkest never world. Consider carefully the things that tempt you, tear yourself free of addictions, manipulations and emotional bondage. Follow only those passions that lead towards light. Key ideas, the allure of darkness, addiction, cynicism, separation from spirit, and facing your demons. I believe that's what the Divine Masculine's done, has addressed his demons. Maybe this Queen of Cups. It's like she's shouting victory. Let's read what this Queen of Cups is about in this deck. The Queen of Cups understands the emotions of others as well as she understands her own. Her intuition is her strongest attribute and she prefers to act from its guidance rather than from the limitations of logic. Her dream life is as real as her waking life, for it reveals the inner journey her soul has undertaken. She invites you to open your own awareness and imagination. With great compassion, she offers to help you know yourself. If this card does not represent a person, it can mean an emotional time that leads to greater understanding and a more open heart. Key ideas, feminine beauty, deep intuition, compassion, understanding without judgment. Because this card kind of went to the floor um, I believe that this was kind of a, a very devilish karmic energy it wasn't really those attributes that it was stating it was the opposite we picked up on that in yesterday so let's just stop here for a moment because we've got the divine masculine who's now um, surveying the situation wanting to talk been connecting with nature um, has been committing to spending time alone to connect there's this understanding now about making, um, I don't want to say making a wrong choice. Understanding the consequences of your choices. It's caused a lot of heartache. It looks like it's in the past now. Let's say the Divine Masculine is wanting to pull out these swords. With these swords here, there's three swords, which means that there's maybe three hearts involved and it's only the owner of this heart that can pull out um, those swords that are in his heart there's a there's I feel there's a lot of conflict about the pain that's been caused The universe has stepped in as well. So the universe has helped to really clear this up. We've got the justice card. Now, we've read this one before. It says that even, I want to say, even the devil could not escape the, the glaring eye of the, <laughs> the justice. Um, divine justice here. It's like there's no escaping. So um, justice will be served. Let's read the Justice card. The 
measuring all human deeds, <coughs> excuse me, measuring all human deeds upon her golden scales. Justice restores balance by eliminating what is not needed. That's all that heartache. Okay, let me do it the other way so you can see the justice card. Acts of injustice meet with their rightful consequences and her sword of truth dispels illusion. I said about the divine masculine facing the consequences of his choices. So definitely picking up, I believe that's really what today re today's reading is going to be about. So acts of injustice meet with their rightful consequences and her sword of truth dispels illusion. Do not think that you can avoid her gaze. She sees through any veil of self-deception in which you have swathed yourself. There is no need to fear her influence if your conscience is clear. What you have set into motion will come to its conclusion following the laws of the universe. If circumstances are not as they, as you would have them be, learn the lesson now and be on the right side of justice next time. The sword is yours to weld as well when your heart is pure and your motives are true. Looks like this uh, sword here is exactly what he's doing, isn't it? So I want to say that now you have the right to... Um, just read that bit. The sword is yours to yield, uh, sorry, to yield, <laughs> to weld as well when your heart is pure and your emotions are true. I felt there was a surrender there. Okay, let's carry on. Here's the blocking out of the connection here. The defensiveness. All the barriers go up. Um, and because it's next to you, you can see here how the Divine Masculine just wanted to block the connection out. Seven of Wands. Now we have the, the king of, um, I'm going to call him the king of passion, okay, king of wands. He's now understanding that um, that decision had no passion in it. it. It lacked passion. So the divine masculine actually blocked out. his own opportunity and um, to experience this passion. Let's read this um, King of Wands. <clears throat> okay, the King of Staves is decisive and confident with the impressive charisma of a true leader. He does not hesitate to take action against injustice or oppression and he expects others to stand up for their rights. Okay. Though he will always lead his courage and strength, sorry, okay. It's like there's a bit of a, uh, again, this is what the divine masculine blocked out. Okay, so the King of Staves is decisive and confident with the impressive charisma of a true leader. He does not hesitate to take action against injustice or oppress oppression and he expects others to stand up for their rights, though he will always lend his courage and strength to those in need. Ceremony and ritual are important to him and the way things are properly done to show respect for tradition. If this card does not represent a person, it shows a time of decision making and taking charge of a situation that may have been dragging on too long. Key ideas inspired leadership, champion the weak, champion in the weak, encouragement, impassioned support. I 
I've got very mixed feelings from that one. Because there was, um, a part of it was about following traditions, I want to say old templates, about uh, blocking the connection with the lovers. You know, we'll come on to this now, as the lovers card is a connection that's very divine. Um, one that you may have never experienced before, so it comes as a bit of a, a shock and it makes you want to kind of um, repel and run. Um, okay, so let's get a card for this lovers. Oh, what's coming out is a pet shop, boys. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sin. Father, forgive me. I tried not to do it. Wow. Okay. Um, I feel like the Divine Masculine is feeling that everything that he's do he does is a sin. <laughs> he can't, just can't seem to get it right. Got the Hermit here, it's a feminine. She's hanging on to a star. So straight away that makes me feel it's the Divine Feminine's kind of retreated herself and protecting herself and her knowledge and her spirituality kind of because the Divine Masculine's pulled back and put up all these barriers, so has the Divine Feminine. She's protecting the truth here. Let's read the Hermit. On an icy mountaintop, a Hermit welcomes the solitude that illuminates. Withdraw from the noise and rush of the world. She is in search of herself without the distractions and opinions of others. The light within her lantern is six-pointed, six symbolic of the union of the water of intuition and the fire of inspiration. So we have the water here of the King of Cups. We also have the, the King of Wands, King of Fire come up as well. And I've picked up the Divine Masculine has been connecting, like no noise. Um, withdrawn from the noise and the rush of world. Rush, rush of world, rush of the world. She is in search of herself without the distractions and opinions of others. And I believe maybe the Divine Masculine has been connecting with the Divine Feminine here through their intuition. So, the alchemy combines what is felt, okay, with what is known and leads to true wisdom. So it's the feeling of each other now. Another meaning for this six-pointed light is universal wisdom, mysteries that reach far beyond earthly limitations and into the cosmos. The hermit is a teacher of these cosmic mysteries for those who are willing to make the effort. Only the most sincere seeker will trek to her lofty hermitage. The light from her lantern shines through the darkness of ignorance to guide those who are ready to look within. And we have like the Divine Masculine here just serving kind of at the Hermit. So I believe we've been picking up on this telepathy. Um, it's about feeling. What did it say here? Um, sorry, it's universal wisdom, spiritual solitude, the illumined soul and retreat into a sanctuary. Retreat into a sanctuary, it says retreat into sanctuary. The alchemy combines what is felt and what is known and leads to true wisdom. Okay. Ooh. Let's put that there. <clears throat> so I feel that the, the connection with the divine masculine couldn't block out in the end. So now we've paused <laughs> to reflect, to study, to be the student, to understand, to want to understand more. This is the awakening, okay, of the student. It's when you're willing. The universe kind of makes you pause though. Um, if you don't give yourself the time, it will find a way to kind of 
pull you out of society, I want to say. You need to kind of be out of society to be in the hangman mode and the hermit. I believe that's happened. We've got the Queen of Swords, which is the queen that cuts out things that no longer serves and wants to be able to speak the truth. So the hangman's very quiet. He doesn't do any, he just observes, listens. So let's have a look at this um, Queen of... Swords. Okay. That's not her. Oh, here's the Swords. The Queen of Swords keeps her distance and does not easily welcome intimacy. Those who are... <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Those who are worthy of her company must respect her independence and intelligence. Her mind is always working and she sees all sides of a situation clearly, which allows her to manipulate it to her advantage. Her cool detachment may seem heartless, but those few she loves are loved fiercely. If this card does not represent a person, it can indicate a need for a detached assessment of the entire situation before acting. Key ideas, keen intelligence. So there's this, I've picked up on this dunce energy, okay? Being as if you're thinking that you're stupid, but you're not. There's this, um, anyway, key ideas, keen intelligence, a calling of emotions, um, strategy for advancement of loved ones. That's really interesting because it says she keeps her distance and does not easily welcome intimacy. Those who are worthy of her company must respect her independence and intelligence. The Divine Masculine knows this. Okay. Her cool detachment may seem heartless, but those few she loves are loved fiercely. So now comes, I want to say, the download, okay? Um, it's the universe. It's the magician. It's alchemy. I stepped in. And directed the Divine Masculine to go ahead and offer um, his love. Very interesting reading, again. With the, um, the wands pointing up, the Magician's finger pointing down, it's definitely Divine Direction. With here, it's the Instruction. So the Divine Masculine, that urge now is is upon him. I feel like we're in like a, a, a soap opera, like some kind of drama. It's like, oh my God, what's going to happen? Oh my God. <laughs> Who knows? God knows. That's it. <laughs> um, so let's, I'm a bit getting distracted, sorry. Getting really into this storyline now. <laughs> it's wrapping up. Okay, the um, the Knight of Cups. Just need to find the chalices in here. The Knight of Cups is the bringer of bliss. He holds aloft the Grail, the symbol of joy, and invites his beloved to drink. His bejeweled steed has no need for reins, for both rider and horse are guided solely by intuition. Well, we knew that. I keep itching again today. And, yeah, I'm not sure if it's the sun with the sweat or... It's best we don't really think into that too much. It's just another hot day. Logic and reason have no place here. Only the call of the heart. Stepping into the sea of emotion, the knave urges you to join him in the adventure of love. If this card does not represent a person, it can mean deeper understanding of your life's purpose or an invitation that will lead to pleasure. 
key idea is the ideal lover, gallantry, and offer of romance, and the quest for bliss. Uh, the lover's card is kind of like the bliss card. <laughs> That's harmony. Let's have a look at this divine direction. Um, the divine father came out yesterday about father's guy. Um, okay. Oh, I, I need to actually pull a clarify, don't I? Yes, I do. <laughs> um, five of Cups. Somebody here is experiencing emotional loss. It does look like the feminine. And I feel that the, the divine masculine needs to come and actually um, put an end to it. Five of Cups. The elixir of life's experience has proven to be bitter and disappointing. The sense of loss is overpowering and regrets for what might have been are holding you back. You may feel separated from the world, unable to connect to the flow that will carry you past this time of sorrow. Look to what remains unspoiled and the potential of future happiness. All is not lost. Key ideas, disappointment, partial loss, an unpleasant development in an ongoing situation. So, like, the Divine Masculine just needs to sort out this now. I wanted to say, however, that resonates with you, because so many things come through that that could mean. But, um, Nine of Cups, it's been stable now. You're being, kind of being happy with, um, your choices now, your decisions. Yeah, very much, look. <sighs> or so we thought. Then in comes the conflict. So there is conflict here. It's immature boyish conflict. It's really about being conflicted about, you know, actually putting things right now. Um, and it being the Divine Masculine's independent responsibility. So, five of spades. Oh. Okay, so I want to say this is, it's time now to put <clears throat> the Nine of Cups going with the King, going with the King. <laughs> Uh, so the king's bringing all his love, okay. And then we had this conflict, and this is what he's coming to sort out, because this card's quite beautiful where it starts off. And it says, what started as friendly competition has de devolved into a real melee where someone may be hurt. These warriors are comrades at arms, brothers with a common cause, and their mock battle was only meant as practice for when they face an actual foe. But their tempers have got <clears throat> the better of them. Some imagined insult or exaggerated reaction tips the balance from fun to ferocity. It may take a call ahead to intervene and restore the peace. Competition struggle for power. Imagined insults needing for a cooling off period. That's the separation between here the divine masculine and divine feminine. Just understanding now things a lot clearer. What started as friendly competition um, and actually about people, but it has developed into a real melee when, where someone may be hurt. It's actually this, this heartache. Let's have a look. King of Cups, here he is. <clears throat> the Divine Masculine sitting there in all his love. He's off. It's like being at the races. And they're off. Oh, it's the lovers. <laughs> oh. And they're off.
Come on then, let's read the lover's card in here. Two primal lovers stand together in the garden of bliss. A watchful angel protects their union but cannot prevent them from making choices both wise and foolish that contribute to their soul's growth. <laughs> it's that bickering, isn't it? It's just the... Uh... Okay, let's read this again. Two primal lovers stand together in the garden of, one of bliss. I was going to say a wonderful bliss. We could have that in. A watchful angel protects their union but cannot prevent them from making choices, both wise and foolish, that contribute to their soul's growth, both as individuals and as a pair. The true... The tree... The tree of wisdom offers illumination and dispels illusion and choosing to eat its fruits, its fruit opens the garden gates and lets in the real world. So it's kind of like once you've tasted this. Okay. So the tree of wisdom offers illumination and dispels illusion and choosing to eat its fruit opens the garden gates and lets in the real world. This is the choice that marks the difference between mere infatuation and true love. The lovers seek to know each other and to be known. They long to open their heart secrets to the other and to find the common beauty within. It is this longing for beauty that moves them into each other's arms. We are at our most beautiful when seen through the eyes of love. Key ideas, soulmates, choosing commitment, the temptations of love. The Immortal Beloved. Wow. Woo. It's getting hot and steamy now, guys. Okay. I did bring out the, <laughs> the sexual tarot. The Magician's here. We're going to read this. How many major arcanas are in this read? Like, a lot. The magician. The first person that the fool meets on his journey. Card number one. From zero to one. The magician calls upon the energy of the universe to bring her desires into manifestation. Whatever she imagines shall come to pass when she brings the full force of her will and vision. The one she holds in her right hand is a conduit for this universal energy and provides a focal point for her intentions. Her left hand points to the earth, grounding the energy in reality, as if she herself were a lightning rod. On the table before her lie the symbols of the minor arcana, sword, stave, cup and disc, the elemental tools of air, fire, water and earth. The magician has everything she needs to fulfill any opportunity that presents itself. The true magic she embodies is the belief in her own powers. This is her art in the highest sense of the word. As above, so below. Divine and earthly creativity in perfect union. Whatever she chooses to be, shall be. <laughs> wow, that's the power of the divine feminine's energy here. What are we going to do with you? It's not going to happen, sweet pea. I've got shorts on. Okay. Come onto the chair here, Lily. Lily, come onto here, darling. What a reading. Okay. Let's, um, let's get ready. To rumble. <laughs> Let's get this reading. Uh, I was going to say wrapped up, but we've not even hit Oracle cards yet. So I was going to show you how many major arcanas come out. We could do a quick whiz free. A whiz free. <laughs> whiz free. What's that about? A whiz through.
the underlying energy was um, the universe with the magician and then we have the page of swords okay so if it's feeling unbalanced it's feeling not intelligent enough connecting to water um, learning to actually take time out to connect connecting to the intuition it's really all about the realization now and the consequences of our choices and our decisions how the heartache um, how the heartache has been caused I don't know how I'm saying this how this has caused heartache and it's kind of now time to um, bring justice to balance out these scales we have uh, the divine masculine here is in blocking out you know his opportunity to experience passion and adventure with his divine counterpart uh, I believe there's been connecting here kind of across water <laughs> if you want to say that um, with telepathy the bond is really quite strong the divine masculine's connecting and knowing that he needs to come correct he's been guided to come correct and that times now to deal with the emotional loss to deal with the petty squabbling um, and I want to say this petty squabbling is keeping the, uh, the Divine Masculine independent. So he needs to deal with this if he wants to be in union with his Divine Counterpart. Wow. Okay. Let's get a romance angel. I just want the one. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Um, ending on that last card, that's exactly what's um, how manifestations happen by trusting and having faith. What you put your intention upon shall be trust. In response to your question, the romance angels ask you to trust that everything is exactly as it needs to be. Do not add fear to the situation, which will only create drama and negativity. Instead, the angels ask you to release your worries to them. Your present situation, <coughs> excuse me. Your present situation is here to bring you blessings and personal growth, leading to the beautiful romantic love you so deeply desire and deserve. As you follow the pathway you're currently on, trust that it's leading you in the right direction. Your faith uplifts your energy, which in turn attracts positive experiences and people, including your romantic partner. This truly is a situation where the faith, where with faith, all things are possible. Just clarifying that magician's card here. So he's one there. The magician's wand. It's lovely, look, that little chair up there seems very pleased for them don't want to get any more from there what else have I got little fly flying around me near my ear Daily guidance from your angels. Yeah, we could do with some of this. Trust. <laughs> yeah, acceptance. See yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. This is really about the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine actually accepting each other. So I felt here, um, these are kind of like Divine divine Feminine energies, and here's kind of like the Divine Masculine's <laughs> energies. I don't know why I felt that, but it was just, um, <laughs> just with the hat on, and they're like little old men. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> accepting each other. 
it's a bit of a contrast there, isn't there? If they were to partner up. <laughs> You've got like the angels here, the fairies, and then you have these uh, <laughs> masculine energies. Oh, sorry. Give them a pipe and they'll be all right. <laughs> okay. Just thought it's about being set in your ways, but I don't know, there's just kind of like this innocence, this playfulness with these. Uh, they're like elves. <laughs> Acceptance. You've received this card to help your relationship with yourself and others. The next time you're tempted to judge yourself or someone else harshly, pray for their health and happiness instead. This more positive route builds self-confidence and harmony and heals relationships. Additional meanings for this card. Notice how much better you feel when you think positively about yourself and others. Don't try to control, control or change them. Let go of tendencies to force things to happen and you'll receive your desire, your desired or better outcome more peacefully. When one door closes, another one opens. Let's get another one from here. Be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you'll know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. That's what I feel here, the, the actual divine feminines, you know, are there for the divine masculines, look. Oh, I want to say the acceptance, be honest with yourself, the opposites attract. Okay. You receive this card as a gentle conf uh, confrontation because the angels know you've been hiding from your true feelings. You've probably been afraid that if you admit, admitted how you honestly felt, you'll be overwhelmed with feelings and faced with making some necessary changes that you feel unprepared for. Most definitely, because I'm really sweating now and uh, I wanted to speak really fast <laughs> so I get the message out. So I'm going to go back. You receive this card as a gentle confrontation because the angels know you've been hiding from your true feelings. You've probably been afraid that if you admitted how you honestly felt, you'd be overwhelmed with feelings and faced with making some necessary changes that you feel unprepared for. Yet the angels assure you that it's healthiest to face this situation with honesty. They will help you with your emotions, relationships and any support you need to make you need to make positive changes. However, the angels remind you to focus only upon your desires and not upon your fears so that you can attract the former and not the latter. Additional meanings for this card. The situation will improve when you face it squarely. You deserve better. Trust your own feelings even if others don't agree. And don't give away your power to others. Avoid getting caught up in the illusion that this is the way it is. <laughs> Hello, Lily. <laughs> um, it's a bit hot to have a, a cushion on my lap. Okay, let me just put one of these on my... Oh, Lily, that is going to be hot to put that on, but... Can you get on there? <laughs> you're going to be up quite high, I know. I know, it's like you're going to be the queen of the castle. Mm, you're going to lay down then, please. I know. <laughs> Pop your towel down for me, please. Let me just get these cards up, guys. I'm sorry if I'm rustling the microphone. Okay, Lily. You lay down then, please. I'm not sure if this is going to work, Lily.
the choice. I'm not sure if we've used them since we had that card, but um, it's there. The choice. God speaks is there. We've got two. Okay, Lily, lay down, please, now, sweet pea. Lay down. Oh, three to one. Okay, let's read this one first. You want the chair? <laughs> You're not coming back over. And Kate's in here now. I'm very distracted. Okay, we'll just leave the hair for the moment. Let's um get on with three to one. <laughs> it's like Dusty Bin. Why do we keep going to great game shows? Okay. Three, two, one. Ted Rogers, I believe. There is a heavenly child in your midst. It may be within your heart, in your womb, or a glimmer in your eyes, soon to be. This child holds the key to the fulfillment of a process that is happening for you now. This child might, might be a physical culmination of your marriage or commitment to another. It might be a symbolic birthing of a new self after a time of learning to bring male energies of protection and discernment together with female energies of feeling and creativity, whether within yourself or in yourself or in your relationship with another. Ooh. Okay, the child might symbolically be a new life, an improved relationship, a book, a new job, a completely renewed way of dealing with what was once a challenging issue. And so soon will not be an issue for you anymore. Just to name some examples. From masculine to feminine to child. There is now just one. A new reality dawning with grace. This oracle holds a message for you. New life is upon you now. You are being reborn and you will give birth to what is meant for you. This lifetime. There is no need to worry. Just pray with an open heart that you may be supported to fulfil your destiny. You already are, of course, but prayer can help you realise it. The rest is in the loving and capable hands of the divine. Okay, let's read this poem. Love is what makes the heart beat faster, the lump in my throat, the feeling of missing you so much, that I can't wait to be with you again, and then we are, and I look in your eyes deeper, and I know the unspoken words that say I love you, and the feel words in return. How short each lifetime seems, but what I feel with you lasts forever. May love be the compass that guides you on the course of a lifetime. Okay, it's just so hot out here. <laughs> Let's get swept up. Within nothing there is everything. Number two. From a point of stillness, a moment, a complete universe is opening up to you, endlessly expanding. Your every thought and intention sends ripples of consciousness through the universe. Emotion. Sorry. You are sending... Oh no, I was right. <laughs> Your every thought and intention sends ripples of consciousness through the universe. What a creative being you are. You are sending consciousness into motion, bringing your creation into being with every inner desire and every whispered wish. The universe receives your yearning and aspirations with open arms, returning them to you as manifestation in your life. 
what is really in your heart. Open your arms, sigh, speak your heart truth aloud to the loving universe and receive it as your destiny manifesting now. This oracle brings a message to you, something that you want is on its way to you. It may seem to be coming out of nowhere, no sign on the horizon to give you hope, yet it is coming to you anyway. It is spiritual law that you cannot be denied, the manifestation of your heart's desire. Trust and remain open to the tide of universal love rushing towards you, swelling within you now. Okay, the poem. The wind moves gently, through trees quiet waters flow, flows life's song calls softly. It's about connecting with that water again. The wind moves gently through trees. I can't get these words out. <laughs> I need to wrap this up because I'm really quite flustered now. And in comes the breeze. Okay, the wind moves gently. Through trees, quiet waters flows. Life, life's song calls softly. Connected with water, I can't get that message out though there. <laughs> Let's quickly get a magical unicorn oracle card. Let's see how the laptop's doing. Top feels like it's doing better than me. Okay, we need a bit of a breeze, please. Not too much though to blow the cards away, but a breeze to cool me down would be awesome. Thank you. It says, What a creative being you are. And the card out is creative. Draw, think, draw, paint, think and act in creative ways. Talk about your feelings. Tell a friend how you feel. Okay, I'm not going to read that one. I'm gonna to have to cough, <laughs> sorry. <coughs> I have to wrap up this reading. I feel very, very tickly here. So um, I saw some lovers oracle. Oh yeah, that breeze is nice. We keep that going, yeah. Throat's really tickling. I'm just looking at the pictures. Um, There is a child in this one. Let's read this one first. There's a feminine here who seems to be connecting um, with an angel, with divine. Which looks like could be on the on a hill, maybe. Oh, I don't know if you can see this, guys. Um, Let's see what the message is. Love is like a storm. It is fresh and cleansing. It is natural and essential. It is powerful and fulfilling. And nothing can get in its way. It's that communication here. Then here's the, the card that's got the child on there. So I want to say like with a kind of a security blanket. Oh, okay, it said about three to one, okay, and about like this new energy, this um, blending of the divine masculine, divine feminine, creating, uh, there's just no separation. So it says, pure love is like the perfume of the rose given to all. The sun does not care upon whom it shines. The quality of true love, of pure love, knows no distinctions as wife or husband, son or daughter, father or mother. Love's just love. 
Okay. Wow. Let's see what the bottom is. Ah, oh, now I've got to see this top one here. What's going on here? I'm not sure, but I'm drawn to like read the bottom as well. It's not even for that card. See, it says each of us is an angel with only one wing. We can only fly by embracing one another. But I want to see what this actual card says. Some people come into our lives and quickly go. Others stay for a while, leave footprints on our hearts. And we are never ever the same again. That's that connection with the lovers here. Okay, guys. Have yourself a fantastic day. And I've got to go and call off now. <laughs> um, and I'll catch up with you soon. Okay, take care. Much love. Bye for now.